I'm gonna be doing a really fun barbecue item that is perfect if you're having a little party or gathering and you wanna show off those barbecue skills. So what I'm talking about is some chicken drumsticks. So today I'm not doing the boring chicken drumsticks. We're gonna be doing lollipop chicken. I'm gonna show you exactly how to trim these up for that. And I'm gonna be cooking these on my pit barrel cooker. Without further ado, let's trim these up into some delicious lollipop chicken drumsticks. So I'm gonna show you with just one of these drumsticks how to do a lollipop chicken. Then I'm gonna get the rest trimmed. So let's get going with this one. You're gonna need a nice sharp boning knife for this. And you're gonna to wanna to come in right about where the meat starts to get nice and thick, right about here. Cut it like like this fully around the whole thing. So go ahead and just pull this meat back like so on the knuckle. Now here's the tricky part is getting this meat off the knuckle of the bone. What I like to do is come in here on the back with my thumb, go ahead push this over. It can be a little difficult like that. There's your knuckle and then just peel it over like so. so now you got all your meat there the end of the knuckle. So what we're gonna wanna do is you come back with your knife and just work that meat off. Just being careful not to cut yourself. Just take your time. There you go. Now you're left with this. You can see there's a little scraps on here. You can clean this up more if you want. Another thing I wanna point out is there's another little bone here. It's hard to see, but it's right there. And you gotta watch out for that. So now that we got that meat cut off, we're almost done with this. Just come in, grab your hand like that, pull the bone and just pull this up. Try and push all that meat to the bottom of this drumstick. Really want it to pile up. And like I said, now you can see that bone a lot better right there. See that? Just be careful because when you push the meat down, you might get poked by that, just a heads up. But something like that is what you're looking for. Nice, beautiful lollipop chicken drumstick. As you can see, kind of stands up. A lot of times you won't be able to get it to stand straight up like that. You can always go to the bottom and start trimming that if you want, but that's about it. Now, for whatever reason with these chicken drumsticks, when you do the lollipop method, it's a little more work, but it just totally changes this drumstick. The meat on here is super juicy. It's absolutely delicious. I don't know why it makes such a big difference to do this, but it really does. So I highly suggest giving this a shot. It's really not that bad. If you're doing a bunch, it can be a lot of tedious work, but I'm telling you it's worth it. People are gonna love how these things look. So I'm just gonna go ahead, get the rest of these trimmed up, and I'll see you when we're done. Get these seasoned. All right, here's our chicken lollipop drumsticks. Now, next thing I wanna do is just get these seasoned. And for seasoning today, my SPG mix. What this is, one part kosher salt, two parts black pepper, one half part paprika powder and one half part of garlic powder. And I just wanna go simple with the seasoning because we're gonna be putting a delicious barbecue sauce on this later. And that's where a lot of the flavors are gonna come from. So just a little SPG on these should be perfect. Get these all seasoned up nice. These are all set, the pit barrels lit up. So let's get out and get them on. All right, let's get these drumsticks on nice and smoky. I got a little bit of hickory wood chunks in there that'll add some great flavor to these. Let's go ahead and just set these right in here. And there we go. As you can see, this one kind of fell over. Don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Let's get this lid on, let these cook. I'm thinking these drumsticks are gonna be on for about hour and a half, two hours maybe. They usually take a little long. I'm looking to get these to about 170 to 180 degrees. And I know a lot of times they say 165 degrees for chicken. That's really only for chicken breast. If you cook chicken breast over that temperature, it's probably gonna get very dry not good not good at all now with drumsticks and thighs you can take those up to 180 185 degrees without a problem they actually end up tasting better at those higher temperatures because there's so much fat involved with those two muscles it really gives a chance for all that fat to render down so don't worry about letting these drumsticks go to 180 degrees like i said i'm looking between 170 180 see how they look around those temperatures don't want them to get too burned or anything, but we do want to try and get that skin rendered down so it is bite through. But in the meantime, while we wait for that chicken, let's make our barbecue sauce. All right, so we start with about a cup of ketchup in a saucepan over medium heat. For that, you want to add a little bit of vinegar, apple cider, white, whatever you want. I'm using white vinegar today. Then you're going to want to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, your preferred hot sauce. Today I'm using a little Frank's Red Hot. Just a splash. A little lemon juice. A little bit of honey. Sprinkle on a little brown sugar. I'll just give this a little mix. All right, now let's go in with a little seasoning. I'm gonna add a little bit of celery salt, a bit of onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, a little bit of oregano, and a dash of cumin powder. All right, now give that another mix. You're gonna wanna heat this up. It's gonna help all these flavors melt together nicely. It's gonna deepen the sauce flavor. 
It's gonna thicken up a little bit more. Now, one more thing. I like to add some butter in here. Gonna make this sauce a little bit richer. So now all we gotta do is just mix this up, let this butter melt, let this sauce thicken a bit. The sauce smells great. I'm excited about this one. All right, so just let this thing heat up till it starts boiling like this. That's all you're gonna need. Then you can go ahead, shut the heat off, and our barbecue sauce is ready. And speaking of ready, I think that chicken's all set. All right, these lollipop drumsticks have been on for one hour and 30 minutes. These things are looking fantastic. Skin's looking pretty rendered. Nice color on them too. Let's get a temp check on some of these. For temp at about 160 degrees, not too bad. Still need a little bit longer, but I think it's time to get these sauced. All right, so I got the barbecue sauce into a cup. That's gonna be the easiest way to do that. And then it's as simple as grabbing your lollipop and check that thing out. It looks delicious. Go ahead, just dunk it in. Pull it out. That is it. Super simple, absolutely delicious, and they look great. All right, now I'm just gonna let these things go for about 10, 15 more minutes, let that sauce set up, and be ready to give them a try. All right, this lollipop chicken is done. I let them go for another 15 minutes after I sauced them just to let it set up really nice. And these things look phenomenal. So check that out. How cool is that? Just take a look at this. That look nice or what? Come on, thing is beautiful. But see how this thing tastes. Mm -hmm. That is very good. Mm. So the skin is perfect, light through skin. That's what you're looking for with chicken. And that meat is super juicy. I think because it's all crammed down to the bottom here, it all cooks together beautifully. And if you've ever cooked chicken drumsticks, you, know, you get all those little tendons and chewy parts in there. You don't really get that with this, which is really, really nice. Barbecue sauce we made is absolutely delicious. I really like the flavors going on in there, especially that oregano, that really comes through pretty good. And make sure you add that butter too, because it really adds some richness to that and you need it. Give these a try, let me know what you think of them in the comments. I'm a huge fan of these. They take a little work, but you're really gonna impress a lot of people with this kind of a cook, especially with these flavors, you're gonna nail it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave them down in the comments below. But if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe right over here. And if you want another awesome barbecue video to watch, you can watch this one right here. But thanks again, guys, and get out there and smoke something good. Mm.